Hello, everybody! That was for Eddie. In fact, this whole video is for Eddie. The rest of you can get out. Just kidding. So, hey, superstars. Eddie's Baseball Autographs is an awesome through-the-mail channel that's running a six-month anniversary contest. I've actually just hit six months myself, so let's celebrate. Eddie wants to see our collections that are not what we normally share on our channels. I thought maybe since I don't really share my personal baseball card collection, maybe I'd show some of that. But, nah. Then I thought maybe I'd show off some of my massive board game collection, but that'd be too nerdy. Like, baseball cards aren't nerdy. Uh, I've got lots of movies. Uh, not very interesting. Maybe my entire ashtray collection? Too small. Or my vintage reindeer? Nah, too creepy. I got it. When I stopped collecting baseball cards in the mid-90s, I started another collection. Concert posters. These posters were a huge, huge, huge influence on me huge. These are not posters that I made, these are posters that I collected. I came across my first posters in my local record shop, Quonset Hut. These were done by Cleveland artist Derek Hess, not too far from where I'm from. Derek was like my artistic lighthouse. His super sketchy lines showed just how he constructed his drawings, and I found that very fascinating. I wanted to be him. I emulated his style, I researched his influences, and I bugged him constantly with emails. Fortunately, he was super nice to me. To this day, I'm all about showing how my art is made, hence all of my drawing videos. Fu Manchu is a great band. So was the Jesus Lizard. And the Jesus Lizard. And the Jesus Lizard. This Chimera poster is signed by the band. Most of these are screen printed, similar to how you would print on a t-shirt. Because of this, I taught myself to screen print and actually ran a t-shirt printing business for about 12 years. Okay, these next couple are by the godfather of 90s poster art, Mr. Frank Kozik. On this cherub poster, he uses a really awesome Albert Durer image. Durer rules barter town. I love the shape of this fear poster by Psychic Sparkplug. Some black keys. This isn't a concert poster, but a cool art print by my buds at Zingia. I don't know who did this Dr. Doom vs. Dr. Octagon, but I love hamburgers, so I had to have this one. Here's another art print by Shepard Fairey. And a Melvin's poster also by Shepard Fairey. This Melvin's poster is by Little Friends of Printmaking. A Killer Helmet poster by Modesto Studios out of Pittsburgh. Killer Band. Killer poster. Russian Circles also by Modesto. I made this poster and cut it like a paper bag. And here's the gem of my collection, my rosebud, my 52 mantle. This was one of the first Derek Hess posters I saw in that record shop. It sold before I got a chance to buy it and then the prices skyrocketed and college student Scott could never afford it. But last year I finally found it. It was a little pricey but well worth it. So there's my concert poster collection. I hope you enjoyed my little trip down Influence Lane. I'll get back to my regularly scheduled programming. Go check out Eddie's Baseball Autographs. You won't be sorry for long. That was a lot of talking.